Hey what's up guys welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video so this is part 7 of our PHP RESTful API tutorial series and in this video guys we're going to continue working with our uh, create that PHP file and at the end of this video we're going or we should be able to uh, insert record into our database by using our PHP API so let's go ahead and try to modify our create that php so last time we we just added the header and of course the function in our post that php so we have here the create function and we should be able to use that in our create that php file so in here we have initialized our uh, api by using our initialize that php so basically in initialize.php we connected our uh, project into our database so um, the next step is to instantiate the post so we have we have that here so inst we instantiate the post by using the post class and of course applying the database connection so after that we need to get the uh, posted data okay so of course the data should be coming from a request okay so we need to decode that by using uh, file get contents and of course uh, specify that it is a php slash slash input okay and then by that we can uh, get the actual data so post we're going to set the title uh, by getting the data and of course the attribute title okay so copy and paste this for the other attributes as well so we have the body the author and then we also have the category ID so copy and paste okay Okay, so after that, we can just create the post, create post, and then we can use the function that we have defined in our post.php, which is the create. So in order for us to do that, let's add the post and then call the function create. So we're just checking if it is successful or meaning the function return true okay so if the function return true then we're going to echo a message here or meaning display a message so json encode and this is going to be an array so specifying the message which will be um, post created okay and then of course if the return is not true then we will return uh, I mean we will display another message okay array you can just copy and uh, copy and paste this so the message will be post not created okay so let's try this in our postman software so postman and this will help us um, to develop api so if you're serious about working with api so make sure to download and use postman software so in here we just need to add a another tab okay so instead of using the uh, read underscore single then we're going to add or change this into create that PHP and of course uh, it should be post because we're sending data into our API and for the headers let's just say um, content type so as you can see if we try to uh, type in we can have the uh, options and then we can see content uh, it should be content type content type and 
which would be application slash json and of course in our body we can choose raw and then we can specify here the data that we want to pass into our uh, api so we need title for that so basically we're just going to surround our values the key and values with double quote so sample api post and then comma and then um, body S sample body of an api post from a request and then we have another one for our author so brad stevens and third or the fourth one will be the category uh, id okay category id and then we can say like um there are i think we have four categories right now so basically we can choose from one two three and four so we'll just say three and we can send this try and see if our uh, api works so we have an error here um we have an error in our uh, sql syntax so this is uh, post.php on line 81 so this is probably the query so post.php and then we have the actual query here at the top so i think this one uh, made the error so save that and let's try to test it by sending another request so now we have a uh, field created that doesn't have the default value that's because we need to um, edit the attribute of our post um, table so as you can see here we have the different attributes category id title body and author and created that so let's go to structure and now the created at date time uh, doesn't have a default value so we're going to change that and the default will be the current timestamp okay and then save and let's go back to our postman api or i mean postman software and send another request to test our api so send so sending request and we have the um, response which says message that the post has been created okay so in order for us to test that there are other ways for us to um, test this so we can just read all the records so send and there you go we have here the data that has been added recently so the id is 5 and the sample uh, the title is sample api post which we have um, specified here so sample api post and then we also have the body so sample body of an api post from a request okay the same and of course the author is brad stevens the category id is uh three okay that's what we have specified also here and the category name is auto so i think uh that concludes our uh create that php or create function or create feature and we have successfully added that into our api so the next step is to create or add the feature for updating the records so we'll work on that on the next video and by the way guys if you're new here in our youtube channel and you want content about programming so basically we do have a lot of topics here in our in our youtube channel and if you want to be um, updated with all the information that we are uploading in our youtube channel 
I am inviting you to subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll get updated. And guys, see you in the next video. So thank you for watching.